In this video, we'll look at tags in the Outliner. Find tags here in the default tray. If you don't see them, then go to Window, Default Tray, and turn them on. Tags are what used to be called layers. A tag is a property attached to geometry that helps you organize the whole model. I'm going to make some new tags. Let's call this furniture. We'll make another one. Let's call it walls. If I click on a piece of furniture and it needs to be a group and then go to Entity Info, I can see what tag that piece of furniture is on. Click the drop-down menu, click Furniture, and now this has been moved to the Furniture tag. I can always move it to another by selecting a different tag. So I'm going to move this to the Furniture tag, and this to the Furniture tag. Now let's put the walls on the Walls tag. Hold the Shift key down to make multiple selections. And then at Entity Info, move them to Walls. Now you see how this helps organizing because I can turn the tags on and off. So that helps me get things out of the way. If I'm trying to work on something and something in front of it is in the way, then I'll just turn it off. Another option that tags have is when you click on default, you get all these line types. So if I click on this line type, you see that everything on it has turned to that line type. And anything I draw will also be that line type. Note that I can't turn off the current tag. Another item that you want to know about is called the Outliner. So I'm going to go back to the default tray and turn it on. The Outliner shows me all the groups and components that are in the model. And this is a great way of accessing them very quickly. If I click on a group, it highlights it, and then I can double click it and get right to it. This is particularly useful when there are nested groups. Clicking on the group in the outliner will go right to the one that you want. And that's how you use tags and the outliner.